This is another episode of Ohmslaw Vapors Reviews, and this episode we're reviewing the Nugget. So the Nugget stands about two inches tall. It's pretty much the smallest mod that's available on the market right now uh, next to the mini vault which is about the same size and we also carry that in the shop but uh, we'll go into that at a later review I like the artery nugget because it does temperature control for nickel uh, titanium and stainless steel and it can go up to 50 watts it has a uh, 1000 mAh battery it has micro USB port to charge the nugget and it does come with a tank and a special kit we don't carry that at the shop so I just have the micro TFV4 on it still looks really good though on this tank but the tank that it comes with normally is called the 49er uh, you can get these for 10% off on our shop this week and also online using the code nugget so 10% off on the nugget uh, yeah, let's just go into some of the menus and stuff here. Well, let me vape on it real quick. Bruce is pretty good vapor at 50 watts on the micro TFV4 tank. And obviously, I have small hands, and I'm already swallowing this thing up with my hands. So if you have big hands, you know that this thing is super tiny, but very stealthy and kind of take a couple hits or something, lower wattage if you want, uh, maybe in a crowded area or somewhere where normally you might not have been able to vape, though I don't necessarily recommend that. Always respect your uh, the other people in the area if they don't want, uh, you know, you vaping there. But the internal battery is an 18350. They, the material is zinc alloy. They call it the zinc edition, but then they have different colors, and this one is the black, and that's what we carry at the shop. At the top you have your fire button and plus and minus and to get into the menu you click both of these buttons and it takes you to the menu and you have a work mode, a temperature control mode and it goes back and forth like that. The temp mode here, if I click the button it allows me to change the temp mode to, uh, oh it actually rotates back into that but anyway. Uh, it showed me the different temperatures and the um, power mode, which is wattage and voltage mode. So if I select that and then eventually go to the exit, now I'm in voltage mode. So I can adjust it with voltage. You push the two buttons again together, plus and minus, and... Go into work mode settings and change it to power mode and then go to exit. So you can go, it, the, the menu rotates through so you can hit the minus to get to the exit faster. Some of the other options you have available besides the work mode settings, oh, I did it again. Let me get out of that first, okay. So you have temperature settings, which that just allows you to change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius if you want on your screen. And then you have the temp power limit settings, so you can set the actual wattage, uh, the max wattage you want for your temperature control. This doesn't have TCR that I know of, so we don't really have those options, but see, there's the 50 watts, and I can say I only want to go to 45, 40, and in increments of 50. Uh, we also have the uh, auto off time settings and that's in like 10 minute increments all the way up to 60 minutes and then off and then system upgrade I thought this was kind of interesting uh, so uh, you push this to do the upgrade it actually reboots the device and says waiting it only wait for like a couple seconds and it says nope you didn't have anything plugged into USB so I'm not going to uh, try to do an update and then this just tells you your version 
and then exit. So you can adjust um, your temperature control up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And one thing I output voltage 0.5 volts to 8 volts and resistance range is 0.1 to 3 ohms. So you can go build down to a 0.1 on this thing if you have a little tiny RDA. But it's a really cool little mod. I like it. It is kind of tiny, so if you're not used to that, then, you know, it might not be for you. Maybe if you have giganto hands and this thing just completely engulfs, then maybe it wouldn't be, uh, you know, ergonomically designed for your hand. But I think it's perfect for just a little tiny mod, 50 watts. I mean, a little tank. Puts off pretty good vapor. Try it this way. Pretty good, man. Not a bad little setup. I haven't done many road tests with this yet, but I have talked to some people who have, and they got a good two hours or so out of it driving around, and they still didn't need to charge it. And I know that they said when they do charge it, it charges very fast because it's a thousand mile battery. So you're looking at like a 30 minute, 45 minute charge max because it's an 18350 that's in this thing. But a uh, really good little mod. Come to the shop, check it out amongst other things. And uh, also go to slawvapors.com to pick it up 10% uh, off using the code NUGGET. So that's it. This was uh, episode four, Ohm Salt Vapors Reviews, and I'm Justin. Until next time.